You're now in the mix with your boy DJ CLV on 60 Minutes Swag. And we've got the exclusive interview with DJ B. That's right, we got them Jackson boys, Tez and Mon, live in the studio. And we're getting it in and talking about more than music. That's right, we're getting into the ministry and we're glorifying the king of the process. You've heard DJ B on tracks like the warm up. It's a swag. We're getting it in the A town and we're banging out. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. A bunch of followers, the devil got your mind gone. Trying to be like the world, but Christ is where I'm on. And acting like it's cool to curse, talking about I'm grown. God ain't pleased, you can't bless him with the same tongue. I wanna be a king, not a prince like Tay Sean. Said we have you locked up, just like A Con. We can live free from sin, but it takes the spirit though. Sad thing is, a lot of people don't believe it, folks. Read Romans 6 and let me know if you feel me, bro. If not, then I get Yes, you just don't get it so Then just let me know you ain't ready for the truth Nick Jr. with no blue, you ain't got a clue But I can't give up on you just yet, I'm grinding Too crumped up to just rest, they just pray up the Lord I've been faith and calling me a pet I'm about to break it down just like the Generation S8 This is just a warm-up, I'm just trying to warn you Don't go to war without your armor Christ is the general, always dependable, so take that devil, he don't want no drama, drama This is just a warm-up, I'm just trying to warn ya Don't go to war without your armor Christ is the general, always dependable So tell that yeah. devil, he don't want no yeah. drama, hey. drama hey. If you want drama, then we really got a problem what? Christ is on my side, better think about the outcome <laughs> Cause if I got a problem, then I know that he will solve them About to S him out, like Malcolm Always got my back I can never live without him Trust is the key and I will never ever doubt him Cause he can do the I am possible Yes he's so unstoppable and can't nobody top him No, I just had to let you know If you mess with his anointed ones then you gotta go Yes I be a child of God, he's in me so I let it show Man I feel like Green Lantern cause I got an outer glow But I don't need no super ring, I just need the Holy Ghost So I ain't got no worries when I'm on the battlefield Got my armor on, got my sword and I got my shield flex This is just a warm up So I won't even trip I don't have no fear I be standing right here Let go This is just a warm up I'm just trying to warn ya Don't go to war without your armor Christ is the general Always dependable So tell that devil He don't want no drama Drama This is just a warm up I'm just trying to warn ya Don't go to war without your armor Christ is the general Always dependable So tell that Devil, he don't want no drama, drama. So, what's good, man? It's your man, DJ COV. We here. We doing it. Look, man, episode five, man. You 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 know that they the Jackson boys co-hosted the last show with me, and now we got them in the studio once again. Exclusive interview, and let me tell you what's going on with these guys. They got the mixtape coming out, and they've got actually I think it's an album. Is that right? Is is it is it an album or is it a mixtape? It's a mixtape, and then the album coming soon. They already got one mixtape out right now. And I don't know if you remember, I mean, if y'all were listening to Tupac back on All Eyes On Me, these brothers got more tracks than the All Eyes On Me on their first mixtape and Life After Death put together. That thing is a quadruple disc, man. They got so many songs. They're like 40 tracks. 
If you a truck driver struggling with hip hop music, man, let me tell you, you probably make it at least to Arkansas just on that mixtape, dog, from Atlanta. <laughs> you get, you get almost to Texas, not quite, but <laughs> they got a lot of tracks. Um, we gonna go ahead and we gonna pray. And we're going to get it in with the Jackson boys, man. We're going to talk to them. We're going to talk to them about some of the stuff they got coming up. We're going to hear some of their new stuff. And, you know, they pretty much going to be the DJ today. I'm just going to sit back, ask them some questions. This is an exclusive interview. You won't get this kind of stuff anywhere else. You, you can check. You can look. You can find. You can Google. You can bing. You can, pan, you can bang. Whatever, whatever you want to do. You, you're not going to get this anywhere else except on 60 Minutes of Swag. Thank you, Father God, for giving me the opportunity to use this tool in radio as a ministry. I thank you, Lord, that we give you the honor and the glory, and that, Lord, that somebody's life will be affected positively for the kingdom just by hearing what, what we're going to talk about, Lord. Use us as vessels and keep, keep, keep this show relevant and allow people's lives to be transformed through what we're doing in, in, in your name. In Jesus' name, you get all the glory. In G- Amen. 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 So I got I got Mon and Tez right here with me. Go ahead and say what's up. What's good, world? It's your boy Mon Jackson. Your boy Ted Jackson. We DJ B them Jackson boys. Yeah. And now, now DJ B man, like, let me ask you this question. What's 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 what's, what's the first mixtape called? Cause cause you know you got some people that's Marty McFly, Back to the Future. You know what I'm saying? They 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 in the old world, man. We got to bring them up. What 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 what's what's the mixtape you got out already called? Called more than music, the compilation. Got like over uh, close to 30 tracks on that guy, man. 30, 30 tracks. Okay. And now let me let me tell you this. So you can where where can they get that at? I mean, we we where can you find? We want to catch you up to speed. You know what I'm saying? It's like Lord of the Rings, you know what I'm saying? You gotta see the first seven or eight of them before you get to the new one here. What's up? What's up, Taz? What, what what's going on with that? Well, you get the mixtape at tracksondeck.com, tweet my mixtape, that piff, and just Google it for me anymore. <laughs> and that's that's them Jackson boys, D E M Jackson boys, and that's B O Y S. Oh, or it's B O Y Z. See, that's why I asked, man. See, you know what I'm saying? I'm new on on this new the Z, and so there's different ways to spell. And tracks on deck. That's a Christian mixtape site, and that's T R A X. That's tracks with an X. Tracksondeck.com. And everybody know about that Piff, so you can search for them on there. And you can go ahead and, and cop that, man. I mean, that's just a blessing to have artists that be spending their time, their money, their efforts, putting out good music for free, man. Because at the end of the day, we know it's all about the kingdom. Nobody paid me to be here. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? I don't got a gun to my head. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do have the Bible on my mind, so that is a weapon. But let me tell you that no, no, nobody stuck me up to get here. You know, we just here trying to, you know, bless y'all. So the first question I want to ask the Jackson boys is, what's going on with this new mixtape, man? And what, you know, what's happening to your sound now that you kind of just, it's, it sounds like it's kind of the sound is kind of getting. I don't want to say more grown up because I mean your rhymes was never kitty, but what was going, what's going on with this sound, man? I, I hear it kind of evolving into something totally different. Well, man, just uh, maturing in Christ, man. It's going through what we went through, and that's just growing musically and growing stronger in Christ. I think as you grow stronger in Christ, you should see some evidence. So I think you just see the evidence in the music, man. The first one was more than music. We got one minute take coming out. I want to call it unity. Just put everybody on. Just unite everybody doing this for God. So, you know, album coming soon. Wow, wow. And 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 and, and that's real, man. Like, you got to see some evidence. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about seeing when it comes to faith in Jesus. But I will tell you this. He wants you to trust him even though you can't see him. But when he's been in your life, you can tell the difference. You know what I'm saying? When somebody walks in a room, and I'm just going to just check this out. I'm going to kick it real. You walk in a room, and that person that walk in a room just got done smoking mad weed. And they smell like Bob Marley's hotel room. Or what, I mean, whatever you want to call it, man. They just, they stink like, you know, they just smell like weed. You can tell that they've been somewhere. You can tell they've been smoking. Now, now, now flip this to the kingdom look. You're going to tell me you've been riding with Jesus. You're going to be, you know what I'm saying? You've been, you've been in your Bible. You've been doing this and you've been doing that. But you don't look like Jesus. Something wrong. You know what I'm saying? So that that's why he said the evidence, man. I like that. And one one thing I want to ask is, man, like, 
where, where are you where are you trying to go with this music? Because a lot of people, man, I know they trying to get big. They trying to get their name out there. What's what's I mean? What's really your guys' long term girl go with this with this whole music thing, man? Uh, well, basically, like it ain't about the fame, the money. I mean, I believe like you doing it for God. He gonna reward you, and all that gonna come along. I gotta do is stay humble, but our main goal is to reach souls and to get people on Jesus before he come back. That's the main goal. Yeah, that's the main goal, and like, yeah, music is something we we'll, we love to do. And I think God will support you for doing His ministry. So I'm like, it's the ministry that we want to do for God through this music, and God will support us on through it. So the main mission is, like He said, to get soul saved and to spread that word out. That's the number one goal. You look at the disciples and the apostles in the Bible, they spread the word, but we just do it in different ways. So that's the main thing, man. That's what's up, man. And you know what? A lot of people might be listening and they might have heard, you know, you know, this, you know, this hip hop thing is from the devil and all this. And you know what? I mean, I guess if you if you look at the term and, and you, you into some research and you do a little research, the term hip hop is, you know, a secular term, you know. And if you don't know what secular means, you know, I mean, secular is just, you know, something that comes from the world. Meaning, you know, it's not it's not something that's holy or, you know, that, that that's from God. However, when Christians come on this thing, we're supposed to change the climate. We're supposed to change the atmosphere. So, I mean, basically, just like you build a house with a table saw, a hammer, you know what I'm saying? This is just another tool to build God's kingdom. You know, it's not it's not the destination. It's not the gospel. I mean, we're, we're using the gospel as the vehicle to drive it home. And eventually, you know, there's got to be a point in time where you got to say, look, I enjoy what y'all are doing, but at the same time, I got to get my life right. And, so, and, that's, and that's really what they're saying. You know, that, that we're using this music as a tool. And that's what I like about this. Now, I want to get into some of this music because I want you to hear the sound. I want you to feel it. You got to feel the music. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why music is so powerful. Because you can feel music. Anything you can feel could be dangerous. So let, let's just let's just think about that for a hot second. We're gonna play do our thing. And we're gonna get back to this thing, man. We're gonna get back to the ministry. We're gonna play do our thing right now. Here it is on 60 Minutes of Swag. You already know with the Jackson boys. 60 minutes of swag. We're getting it in the A-Town and we're banging out bang, 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 bang. One thing you know about me that I really don't care what people gonna say. Stay, stay. Gotta do me, yes, little old me. So me, too me. easy, that's who I stay. stay, stay. Time really out, so I really can't play. play, play. Gotta be ready for judgment day. day, day. We've been gone for a minute, but we back in a minute. Coming back for the one of our saints. So that's why we be spitting these flames. Cause we really wanna see the world change up. Yep. It's like nobody growing, they just keep doing the same stuff. Real. I know that this a shame, but stay and just be having them hooks. Yeah, Get hook. into your mind, that's why he reads you like an open book. Open Man, book. go ahead and take. Look, I'm covered in the blood. blood. Trying to stop me all you want, but I would never budge. He never. just keep pouring his blessings, so I'm drowning like a flood. Now I done been cleaned up. No more covered in the mud. Guess some people gonna judge, but that is okay. So just like that BK slogan, you can have it your way. And whatever you gon' throw, guarantee I can take. If you knew it make me better, you wouldn't make that mistake. But we gon' do our thing. We gon' do our thing. We gon' do our thing, we gon' do our thing So y'all can talk all you want, talk all you want, hate all you want, hate all you want, talk all you want, talk all you want, hate all you want, hate all you want, do our thing, we gon' do our thing, we gon' do our thing, we gon' do our thing, so y'all can talk all you want, talk all you want, hate all you want, hate all you want, talk all you want, talk all you want, hate all you want, hate all you want, do our thing, and I dare you to try to stop it. Like Twister and Auto Rocket Reggie and Fam too, man Moving like Cam Newton I'm on my Captain Planet And the devil is pollution Jesus Christ is the solution And he coming back soon Gonna clean this world up But not with a vacuum It's gonna rain down fire Burning down empires If they tell you otherwise Then the devil is a liar I'm rolling like a tire Don't play 
plan on retiring. No, nope. I can't stop when I'm tired. This entire thing is bigger than me. me. It's all about the king. king. And I ain't talking James. James. A man with no wings. No My God is real. My God is real. And never fake. And never fake. My God can give. My God can give. And he can take. And he can take. So live right for heaven's sake. Okay. And represent him every okay. day with every move you make. We gon' do our thing. Yo, what's good? It's your boy DJ COV. So y'all heard do our thing. You know what I'm saying? And we doing our thing over here. And we were just talking about how powerful the music is. And, you know, I'm trying. Look, I'm a pretty good salesperson. But I couldn't even. I, I'm, on you, I'm on your guys' side, meaning the listeners. I'm trying to get them to leak something. You know, I don't want to go Brooklyn on them and twist anybody's arm. If they don't want to do it. <laughs> we're gonna we gonna get it, man. I'm 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 telling you, I'm gonna try to get you some exclusives. I promise you that. But maybe today's not the right day to do it. But that's all good. We we gonna keep we gonna keep getting it in. But I mean, let, let, we're gonna talk about this music because I know music is just so powerful to me that it it put me in some situations that you know, listening to some of this Rick Ross had me want to chop some coke up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even saying that to be funny. And I know a lot of people are influenced by the music. So I want them to kind of talk about kind of things they experienced that they seen and kind of what influence their music is having on people. And maybe y'all could feel the same thing, too. So here, here we go. What, what, I mean, what, what, what songs would you say that influenced you and what things have you seen? Man, on, on the bad tip, man, it's just like growing up in school, everybody, like back in the day, listen to the, um, the No Limits and the Hot Boys and just all that negative stuff, man. It just influenced you. And a lot of people say, oh, music don't influence me, but it does, man. It, it affect the whole culture, like what people wear, uh, what the style these days, or everything comes from the so-called hip-hop game, man. So it influences you whether you like it or not. And I think uh, with me, uh, the good thing of it, I remember back in the day, we got a CD that we, we gave to us. It was Gospel Gangsta. I can see clearly now. So that, that whole CD, man, it, it influenced me, man. Be real with you, man. It just it was like a positive gospel rock, Christian rap. I'm like, man, but it sound good. So I'm like, they kind of influenced me right there, man. And then, like, the other CD with Cross Movement. It was like a mixed CD with Cross Movement song. So the good stuff influenced me, man. So I know the bad stuff can influence people. Yeah, man. All that Gospel Gangsta, that's a throwback. For y'all ain't know I me. Mean, I, I got to say to like 15 and after I, you know, I had caught a charge on some possession and my mom was like trying to everything and I went to church with my uncle and, you know, I got saved and, you know, I mean, being somebody, I mean, I've been DJing since I was 14 years old. So being somebody that's got the music background, I couldn't just give up on music. And, you know, the music they were playing in the church sounded good, you know, while you at church, but I still needed something to bump to, man. So I don't wore that gospel gangsters thing out. If I listen to it today, it probably sounds so old that it don't make sense because it's the new stuff coming out. But, you know, I appreciate the pioneers and people like that, that that put that kind of music out to lead the way for, you know, these upcoming artists like DJB, like my homeboy Dream, Eshawn Burgundy, D-Will, you know, Jack Rip, Punchline Power, you know, all the artists we playing bizzle on, on the 60 minutes of swag so that's kind of like you know somebody's got to lay that groundwork so i just thought that was funny he brought that them gospel gangsters up man and you know and i and, and believe it or not you know because that was one of the only things out back in like 99 and 98 i went back into the world just because you know the stuff they were coming out with was so much hotter and you know, and and and, and now, right now, man, we are so, you're so blessed if you just you know finding the Lord because there's so much good Christian music out right now that you don't even gotta listen to it. I mean, there's dudes out there that'll go bar to bar with any single rapper out there, and they kill them. They kill them. And what they talking about is so positive. So now I want to play something for you guys on 60 Minutes of Swag we haven't heard. 
Because we've been pretty much keeping about like three tracks in rotation. So what what song what song can we give them, man? I think we'll give y'all this song called The King. It's a remix version of Lauren Hill, That Thing. And it got my um, little cousin Rakimi on it. So it's me and my brother Future Rakimi called The King. Okay, what's I mean, I, I know it's about Jesus, but what what's the concept? What what talk about that for a little bit and we gonna run it through. They talking about repping the king, man. That G O D the King. That what DJ be about, repping the king. That's enough. You already know when we talking about the king, not Whopper, not the Burger King. What up, Eshawn Burger? I know he be his name Burger King. And that's what's that's what's good, man. He repping the king, but we we and we also repping the king. We repping the king. So we gonna we gonna run the king over here. This is exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. 60 minutes of swag. You hear it first always. DJ B. It's all about G, sir. Yeah, it's all about G, sir. Now put your hands on G, sir. Yeah, you reppin' G, sir. I know you're going through some hard times, but keep your mind on Jesus, and Jesus on your mind, and Him you will find peace, love, and happiness. Keep the faith in you and start to see things happening. He's far from your average. He could have did damage quick, but He chose to die on the cross for the wretched sins of all men. So why not trust Him? He saves souls. End no discussion. We gotta be a new creature. We can't be the same man using the excuse that we all sin. That's why we need the Holy Ghost. Gotta take that holy road and not the one leading the hell. And I just gotta. Say the devil be real slick yes, Try to make the fakeness look like the realness yes, Try to make you think God killing the innocent And throwing them in hell, man, what kind of stuff it is He gave us free will, free choice, free gift If we go to hell, who's to blame, man, we is Live holy or live evil Just be real with yourself, God will reveal The thing that you need, the thing that you need to see If you need a role model, Jesus is the man to seek Fake people kill me, claiming they so clean You just making noise like playing around on piano key It's all about Jesus, yeah, it's all about Jesus. Now put your hands on Jesus. Yeah, we reppin' Jesus. Let's go. We had to bring it back This ain't an R&B So don't even try to act But it's DJB On the Lauryn Hill track If you haters don't like it You can hit the road jack I'm dressed in all black I murdered my flesh The old me in the casket Now I'm so fresh I'm feeling so clean Like a Bob that's best Now I'm putting on Christ I hope my father is impressed I'm trying to be the best Man, I'm making progress I the Lord so much You can see it through my chest I'm nothing like the rest I really must confess Cause I am a child of God Why would I be less? Why even second guess? No doubts in my mind You can tell that he's real If you're looking at the signs And Jesus is the king But some people still blind So I'ma go hard To that read between the lines It's about Jesus Yeah, it's all about Jesus Now put your hands on Jesus Yeah, we reppin' Jesus Joint crazy, crazy, done winning so hard, my socks fell off, dog. Let me tell you, man, I'm running around here like I ain't even got no socks, bro. That thing's crazy. Might not want to listen to that joint in the vehicle unless it's going to blow your windows out. Nah, just playing, just playing. But, so we chopping it up with DJB exclusive interview. And I just think we want to take this thing a different direction. We talked about the music. They got some upcoming projects. And we're going to talk about where they can get all this stuff at the end of the show. But I want to just ask them, you know, just, you know, just a, just a few questions. I mean, as far as about, you know, how they've been reaching out to people, you know, via social media, their neighborhood, you know, just people that aren't saved. So because I mean, I want some other Christians listening to this to realize, man, we got to reach out and I just want to kind of see what they've been doing. And I and I'll even tell y'all what I've been doing. But I just I just want to kind of see what, you know, what, what kind of move they are with evangelism. Uh, well, I say one of my my movement is 
I do mine through Facebook. Do a little mention on Facebook through my status. You know, you add people, and you know, it's a lot of negative on Facebook. So you got a worldwide website. Why not get a word? You never know who watching you, and you and you want to reach the soul. So you just put the word out there for the people. They either gonna, gonna be drawn to, it or they gonna drive them away. So one of my ministries is, is through Facebook. It like it like with me, man. On my job. Like the biggest way you can influence people and minister to people or the loss is just letting your light shine. Just like with me, uh, at work, a lot of people see that different. They ask me, do I do I smoke or do I drink? And they say no. They know my dad's a pastor. They know that I go to church. So they see that light within me. So then I give them the music. I so okay, I got a video out. They'll check out a video. They'll say they love the video. So when they send something that they love and they know the positive message and they got that gospel in it, that influence them in that way. So it's like, it gets somebody, it tells somebody ill or they mind their heart and they're like, okay, I need to make some changes or I like what they saying. Or some people might not like what we saying, but they know deep down the truth. So you need both. You need a balance. You need that one that make you feel good and you agree with it or sometimes might step on your toes, but yeah, make you want to change. So it's just all around, man. Yeah, I mean, I like really what both of they said because really, let's just sum it up. You never know who's watching, and that's 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 so true. Cause sometimes somebody might be, you know, they might you might think they think something about you they don't even think. You know, some you know that devil gonna lie to you. Somebody might be like, man, you know what? They seem like they're a good dude, and I can trust them. And it's at their lowest point when they after they've been watching you live. You know, that don't mean we don't go through struggles, but they've been seeing you live a certain way, and even in the tough times and when people. Did you wrong and came at you the wrong way They see how you didn't get all You know bothered out of shape Ready to take your shirt off and whoop somebody And they come to you for the prop, You know for the problem and that's, that's when you That's the perfect time to hit them with the gospel You know that's that's the perfect time To really share the light of Jesus And even on Facebook You know I know so many people be you know They're quick to like my status but to cuss Somebody out in the same day <laughs> And I'm not judging them I'm just, I'm just saying like and it's good that they love God or they, you know, they say they love God. But, you know, you got to people are watching you, too, though, even on people that might not be all the way there. So, you know, try. I mean, if you want to get there, all you got to do is try. I know there's always that, you know, I'm not perfect. Well, nobody is, but still make a conscious effort. You know what I'm saying? If you got a wife and she say, don't cheat on me and you kiss it, baby, I'm trying, but you keep cheating. She ain't going to stick around for too long. Unless you just like being cheated on. So you got to just try, man. So we chopping it up here with DJ B. And we talking about this music. We talking about evangelism. We talking about reaching out. It's the summertime. And in Georgia, man, it's all about them barbecues and triple digit climates. We've been hitting them hundreds. <laughs> so what, what's going on? What, 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 Y'all got any upcoming events? Any shows going on? What's going on? Or do we need to make a promo for you to, yeah. for us to? We need, to we need to make a promo. Okay. All right. This is my best radio voice. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. We gonna. We gonna do. I'm gonna do something special for these boys. We are gonna do a promo right now. Right now. Right now. You can book them Jackson boys. No, I'm just kidding. But look, you need to go on there and book them. You know what I mean? You're. You, you got a youth event. You. You got. You want to make your. You know, outside party pop a little bit. You want to reach the kids. Maybe you have some kids that you notice be texting in the back of the church. You just can't get them to listen. What better way than to bring some young guys in here? You know, bring them in there. Let them do some music. It's got hot beats. These guys remix the stuff that you probably your kids are probably. Let's say, I don't know. Maybe you a grandma. Maybe grandma's listening to sixty minutes. Of I don't know. Maybe y'all do. But maybe your grandson be just listening to some dumb stuff, man. These boys probably don't go on some of the beats that your, that your kids listen to, but they just remix them with some new lyrics. Give them a new spin, a new lease on life, man. Holler at them Jackson boys. Check up on their Facebook. Taz be posting good stuff. We're going to get into the next joint, man. What were we playing? What we playing? A little different this time. I think this track called Let You Go. Uh, got my cousin Kim on it and Treasure, my brother Taz, on it. It basically was a song about... Um, you have been in a bad relationship and that person wasn't good for you and you know that person wasn't sent from God So it's just about letting that person go and moving on and doing what Christ wants you to do So it's just a different spin on things, but yeah, a lot of people can't relate to Shout out to K-Lyric Shout out, shout out, what, what, salute Alright, here's the exclusive, y'all already know, let you go And never let Jesus go, just so you know, that ain't what they talking about Don't try to say, well that's why I had to cut that 
church off, man. I just had to let them go. That church was no good for my life. They told me to, they told me to stop sleeping with women. Nah, son, you need to cut them scandalous women out there. Them garden tool types. Y'all already know. So we're gonna we gonna put it on let you go by DJ B. 60 minutes of swag. We're getting it in the A-town and we're banging out bang, 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 bangers. Hey, yeah. Oh. I had to let you go. Shots taken, I thought you were for me, but I was mistaken What God has for me, it is for me, so I'm waiting And no, I'm not tripping, man, I just remain patient It was fun while it lasted, but we had to move on We was too wrong for too long, and now I'm too grown So I see things clearer than before I couldn't lie to that man in the mirror, so I roll Best for me, get this jet L I F E. I won't scratch, girl, do your thing. Eventually, folks just seem to change. Cause if you ain't in Christ, then you are subject to do anything. I just had to make that plain. You can see I'm not to blame. If you feel a do like me, then honestly, that just come right. Really, you should be ashamed. Please don't even talk to me. No more text, text, no more calls. Yes, it's time to let me be. I don't hold no grudge, so we no need to stay mad at ya. You made your choice, so really, I just laugh at ya. I'm just looking for a girl who's extraordinary. The reason why, cause tears ain't your ordinary. Sixty minutes of swag. We getting it in with DJ B. Y'all heard 
let you go now i mean the thing is we got to let some things go in our life i mean i know it ain't new year's but you know what i mean what what was y'all's resolution see you done forgot that's because resolutions don't work but jesus does you know what i'm saying so sometimes you know you've been carrying around things for too long you know what let me ask you a question and i know you can't answer me because i'm on the radio but pretty soon we're gonna have you gonna call me we're gonna chop it up like some real folk uh what shoes now athletic shoes did y'all wear 10 years ago so i don't know 2002 you probably can't remember why because you got rid of them but why you got the same attitude you had when you was born get rid of that attitude dog get rid of it push it off this the new swag get with the new stuff man if you don't carry the same shoes look what happens if i told you that your attitude would probably smell worse than them sneakers <laughs> yeah man i mean i guarantee you the, the the homeless person that received that as a as a cheerful gift that you gave them shoes to from 2002 ain't wearing them he done them things is gone bro they disintegrated if, if you try to get everything you had back, half the stuff you wouldn't want. And it probably have diseases, bacteria, it'd be dirty, it'd be smelly. So quit trying to hold on to stuff that you ain't got no business holding on to. Let it go. That's what I love about that track. You already know we're going to keep kicking to your real. Now, um, I want to I wanna ask these guys some questions because they young. And I want to say, I mean, you know, they single guys. I'm not trying to, I'm not, I'm not trying to turn this into a dating site. Y'all already know, I mean, you know, we gonna let God handle that. But, you know, I mean, what I mean, what, what happens when these ladies be coming at you guys on Facebook? What, and what advice can you give other single Christians that's dating out there? You know, just some just some good things to fireproof themselves, to make sure that they be straight. And that, you know, that they don't fall into temptation and sin from the devil. Because you know he tricky. Uh, well, me, like me, I'm cool. I'm laid back, you know, I talk to you, but long you don't come on the crazy stuff, you know, we good, but it's all about how you carry yourself, like, a, a girl coming to me with half naked, you know, showing her body, I'm not gonna holler at you, because you don't really respect yourself, so, you know what I mean, like, I can't get with that, so I get other advice, like, stop, stop selling for less, stop going to anything, like, you see a girl that... Ain't got no clothes on. Why you gonna talk that? Let you know that she's easy. You know, you, you don't need no girl like that. You need a girl who's gonna respect herself. So that's why I wanna get other people. Don't settle for less. And I wanna say, man, if you're gonna be in a relationship with that person and you realize that that person working against you, then that's a bad sign that you need to let it go. Like, if your person that you're supposed to be with, supposed to be your partner, shouldn't be working against you, and you should be able to see that Christ in that, in that man or woman. Now, if you see the devil in that woman or that man and they ash and represent Satan, then you know that ain't of God. So you can't you can't be unequally yoked. You can't have you trying to do right with God, but your person that you with doing right with the devil. So it can't work like that. So y'all got to be on one accord. And if y'all ain't, y'all need to get to that point or let it go. And you got to think about it. And if you decide to marry that person, you're going to have the devil cooking you your eggs every morning. I ain't trying to have that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, I go to Danny's Waffle House. You know what I like about the Waffle House? Totally off the top, and you can see who cooking your food. <laughs> you might, you know, what I'm saying, if somebody kind of, hey, you don't, you know, don't like their appearance, and they be on that grill, you gonna walk right out. You ever done that? I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one. Just saying. But all right, we going we we getting it in. All right, and. I wanna, we talked a little bit about that, so that's some definitely some good advice, man. Don't don't sleep on this stuff, man. This ain't this ain't stuff from the mattress store. You you really definitely want to take this stuff into account that we're telling you. Um, you know, look at what type of person it is, because you know what? I've heard so many guys. That, look, we all adults here. Hopefully, you know, I mean, if there's any three or four year olds or young kids, put them out of the room while I say this next day. You meet a girl and you're so quick to tell your boys that she's a hoe or whatever people are saying. And then two months later, you dating her and they say, yeah, what happened to that one hoe? Because you said it first. And we know and I don't want you to think that I'm calling women hoes. I'm just I'm just using what people say and, and letting you know how stupid it sounds. You say, shut up. That's my girl you're talking about. Because you know what? These girls, they come, you know, what? And, and I'm just and I'm not saying it's not just the girls. It's us too as guys. We got to just live holy, man. We can't be putting ourselves out there like that. You know what I'm saying? We can't be treating 
these women that like like they're not worth anything because look they're made in god's image so they're not hoes and you know what i'm saying and we're just more than just you know we're better than that these are women of god and we should respect these women but the women should respect themselves and know that you worth something if you're a woman out there you know what i mean and you don't think you're worth something there's so many scriptures in the Bible that says you are. And you don't need validation from a man to see that. You know what I mean? I tell my wife every day she's beautiful because she is and the Bible says so. And even if she doesn't feel it and says, Johnny, you lying. I know I'm telling the truth because I got it right in the scripture. She can't say nothing. She might not feel, you know, women sometimes they go off the feeling. She might not feel the best, but you know what? Regardless of that, Jesus always see her as beautiful. And that's how we see all y'all. Even if you're not even in the right relationship with him, he still loves you and you're beautiful and you're his creation. And that's why he died for you. Um, moving on, though, moving on. There's a lot of things going on right now in the streets. I heard about this thing, YOLO. I want to talk about that. What's, your, what's, what's, these, what's them Jackson boys take on this YOLO? Because I, I even heard now Christian rappers are shouting this YOLO, you only live once. What, that, what, what kind of lie is that? Big lie, man. It's just a lame trend, man. It's just like people with sheets, man, to the hip-hop game, man. Drake said this one thing, and everybody want to use this whole cool term, man. It's just what? If you really a body in Christ and you really of Christ, then you know you can live again. So why would you label yourself, oh, I'm only living once? Christ said you can't die. If you got the Holy Spirit inside, when Christ come back, you're going to rise with him. If you die before your time, you're going to rise up when you come back. So you're going to live again and turn to life, but that's heaven. So, if you're a real Christian, you shouldn't be saying on YOLO, man. Man, stop following all these rappers, man. Get your own swag. Get your own lifestyle. Sure. They're they, they yeah. going to they gonna lead you to hell, man. Follow Jesus. You know, live once. That, that's a bunch of baloney, you know. Like, if you're going to live life to the fullest, live it up in Jesus Christ. You have eternal life. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this thing, like, for real, 100. Now, I know, look. I'll give you guys my email address. And if you blow me up, great. If you don't, I mean, that's still cool. But I'm going to say this, man. I I would challenge you. My email address is 60, 60, minutes of swag at gmail.com. All right? And I want I just want to put this thing out here right now. And I think we're going to stir this thing up. Imagine tomorrow you check your bank account and you got $7 billion in your account. You got more money than you could ever spend and every single, if you're a man, you got every single woman that you could ever want at your disposal that you could do whatever you wanted with in all the Ferraris and all the baddest cars. I give you two weeks and you're going to be so bored out of your mind that you're going to look for fun stuff to do. You're going to start committing crimes. Then, then that's not going to be enough thrill. Then you're going to be jumping out of airplanes, going skydiving. And that thing, and then you, you know what? If your money did run out, I bet you couldn't count on your hands how many friends you had left. Who wants that life? YOLO. Not me. Let me tell you something. Jesus makes life so interesting that it don't make even sense. Man, without Christ, you would get so bored. Now, you might you might have been poor all your life or not had the much money, so you're thinking, oh, I got to get this. But you're only excited because you haven't gotten it yet And the devil's just making you chase the cheese You know what happens to a rat when you've been chasing cheese too long? You get stuck in the trap And when you get stuck in the trap, you stuck In that place right there where he wants you Stay out the trap Quit chasing that cheese, man Matthew 6 and 33 First seek the kingdom of God And all things should be added unto you Seek God's kingdom He's got something so much better than the world can have and if y'all want to hate on me and, you know, send me a bunch of hate mail, go ahead. There's my email address. But, you know, or you want to just thank me for saying something real positive and true. Because that's what we need. And I wanna, let, let's get back to the topic, though. Because, you know, he said something so good. Stop following these rappers. If you follow somebody long enough, you're going to go where they're going to go. Let's start our own movement. And I, I just want to ask them, what, what kind of individuality that you could explain has God given you as artists, rappers, people, and I mean, and how do how do people identify you? You know what I mean? With me, man, I just got my own personality, man. I got, I got my hum, my humor side, but yet my serious side. I got my when I talking about Christ, man, it's a real serious subject, but yet I'm not so uptight about it. I can be, you know, what I'm saying I can chill with anybody and talk it over anybody, and yet with my music. 
it like I use everything I went through or even the stuff I watch, like cartoons or video games. Like I just put everything in my music, but I make it positive and I put it about Christ. So it's like it's the way you can do things, man. It, people think when you do Christian music, it's just a a one way type of way of doing it, or you gotta be born and copy somebody. But you can just use your everyday life to lift up Christ, cause that's what you're doing anyway. Every day you use your life to lift up the Father. So why can't you do that in your rap? It's just the same thing, man. You ain't gotta copy nobody. Just be yourself. How God made you. Everybody be like, oh, you gotta start start changing some things when you come to Christ, so that's why I don't wanna do it. Yeah, you gonna have to change some things, but at the end of the day, you the same person. You just better yourself, and You got rid of some things. So that's with me. I, I'm still the same, Ted. You see me. I'm still humble, still silly. That's just me, but I just got Jesus in me. Word, I feel you. I mean, I, got, I can relate to that because I got so many people, man. People know I'm a Christian because I always talk about Jesus, but... Even if I didn't say nothing, they'll think, like, I think, I don't think they'll say that I'm not a Christian because I'm not trying to say that, but they just think I'm so crazy that they might even know if I'm high or not. You know, I'm just, I'm just stupid, but I was like that in the world and I'm like that now. So you just don't change who you are, man. Just, just be yourself, but, but just keep, you know, keep his words first that, you know, if that's the only thing you need to, you know, alter is just, is that. It ain't, it really, I mean, it really ain't that hard because he there helping you. He did all the work anyway. You know what I'm saying? You just got to follow him. You know, at the beginning, he didn't tell the disciples nothing. He just said, follow me. And so today, you know, he's still saying that. The Bible said Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. So he said, follow me. Now, if you got heavy stuff in your hands, you might not be able to follow him. But he gave you the power to drop it. So go ahead and put that down and follow him. If the load heavy, follow him. Put it down. I mean, because there's some things you might not be able to carry and follow Christ at the same time. Because you're going to trip and fall. But I guarantee you, if you say, God, I don't know how to put these things down. God hear that. God hear that. You know what I'm saying? This ain't even me talking. God hear that. So you know who you are. Somebody out there probably feeling like, they whole life, you know, even, even you know, they, they feel like they're a Christian, but their whole life there's that one thing that's been stopping their walk. I tell you today, brother, you free. Whoever you are, you free. I'm speaking to somebody. I ain't even I didn't even mean to do this. I'm speaking to somebody. Put that down. You free. In Jesus' name. Hit me up on 60 Minutes of Swag at Gmail. Let me know how that go. You free. I declare you free now. In Jesus' name. You know what I mean? Because that's how it is. He did it for me. He going to do it for you. No matter what it is, quit getting lied to. Stop putting yourself in vulnerable spots. You, you know who I'm talking to. And I don't want nobody to get freaked out by that. Because that's just how God works, man. When God starts speaking, he starts speaking. You can be free. You can be free today. You don't got to be bound up in all them chains, man. You know what I mean? So I'm. So basically, what this whole thing is, if y'all like superheroes, he got me on this comic thing. We were talking about comics and you know how he put the cartoons in there. It's pretty much like the greatest superhero story ever Because you got Jesus, the all-powerful, the almighty Versus this tricky, conniving devil And see, Jesus ain't caught up, but you know what I'm saying But this devil keep tricking his family Tricking the, tricking God's family So he gotta keep saving them And that's what this thing is, man So we gonna, we gonna get in some more tracks Just wanna get you guys to see that a little differently um, what, what track we gonna play next for him? I'm going to give y'all that John 316, man. If y'all watched the House of Prayer video, it had a little intro in the beginning, but in case y'all haven't heard the song, this is the track, John 316, remixing that um, Rick Ross and Lil Wayne, John song, we remixing that. So that's that what it is. What's up? What's up? Okay, here we go, John 316. Just an alien source are approaching from the sky. Radio contact has been attempted but cannot be attacked. Instructions are to prepare for an attack by an unknown Lego. enemy. Yeah. DJ B, be the team, yeah. up in the word, B-I-B-L-E, word. all plays that go to my G-O-D, he can set you free any day of the week, yeah, I'm on my John 316, what you want, I'm on my John 316, what you want, I'm on my John 316, okay. 316, okay. John 316, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, yeah. you can be saved and not go to hell and burn, Stop. Doing wrong and 
get your lesson learned. Have a relationship with God till Christ returns. He died on Calvary, Calvary. for you and me. So why do we keep sinning when he made us free? We gotta get the spirit and be a new creature. Kill the old you and pick up some new features. A true preacher, that's what I aim to be. Taking shots at the devil, aim to squeeze. It's a shame to see a lot of folks can't be just what the devil set them up to be. Dying on the inside, every day you wish to hit Who don't have God for real, go burn for an eternity So time to see, H-R-I-S-T A holy place is where you best be, for real Yeah, DJ B, be the team Up in the word, B-I-B-L-E All praise it go to my G-O-D He can set you free any day of the week yeah, I'm on my gun 316. What you want? I'm on my gun 316. What you want? I'm on my gun 316. Yeah. 316. Yeah. I'm gun 316. I'm singing 316. I ain't talking Steve Austin. The world's stone cold and it's gonna keep frosting. Every day I'm hustling. No Rick Ross and going hard for the locals. It will get you in that coffin. So wake up. My flow like coffee. Spreading like a creek. I am on my dog. Staying in my lane, I would not be crossing. Never. Ride with no handlebars, I'm on my mad house, man. Off, yeah. yeah, you know the devil can't often. Anything you try to give quickly, I'm tossing. Hey, yes, I'm still growing, you can see your boy blossom. On the living water, man, I'm something like a dolphin. He's the boss, man. G O D, gave it only son to die for you and me. There's nobody greater. Open your eyes and see. Everybody bow down. Cause Jesus is a true king Yeah, some people think that he ain't coming back But when the sky bus open, we can try to take your coming back In fact, you know some people don't believe they don't. Better get a bottle, turn to John 316 I'm like, yeah, DJ B be the team yeah. Up in the word, B-I-B-L-E word. All praise it go to my G-O-D B. He can set you free any day of the week yeah, I'm on my gun 316. What you want? I'm on my gun 316. What you want? I'm on my gun 316. Okay. 316. Okay. Gun 316. Yeah, DJ B be the team. Yeah. Up in the word. B I B L E. Word. All praise it go to my G O D. He can set you free any day of the week. week. Yeah, I'm on my gun 316. What you want? I'm on my gun 316. What you want? I'm on my gun 316. Okay. 316. Okay. Gun 316. Yeah. John 316 on the track and let's speaking of John 316 man let's talk about uh let's talk about that for for those I know that's the most popular verse in the Bible you know for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believeth in him shall have everlasting life and not perish I love that verse and I just I, there might be somebody out there that Either you a Christian, you say, but just don't know how to explain that to somebody else. Maybe you just need some more boldness. You know, maybe you the regular kind of Doritos, and then they got the bold Doritos. You need to be the bold Doritos. What's up, Chad? We on that, we on that insanity. <laughs> Doing it big. We don't even do them Doritos no more. Had to stop all that chipping and dipping. <laughs> Had to pick up them weights. All right, man. But look, so you so you thinking about this 316, man? I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you need to get bold. And I just wanna I wanna talk to them Jackson boys about how they kind of would explain how you get saved. You know how how did how would they lead somebody to Jesus? How would they explain that? Maybe you would give a Christian a little bit more tools in their box. Maybe you, you ain't Christian and you like yo. I didn't really see that from this person, but yo, I really heard what they were saying because their outlook is, you know, kind of similar to yours. That's why we do this on the show. So here we go. 
I'ma say, when you come to Christ, He know everything anyway. So just be real with Him. When you get to that point where you want to just give it all to Christ, that's what you got to do. You come as you are to Christ. Get on your knees, close your eyes. A lot of people think you just got to go to church to get saved. You don't got to go to church, man. If you at home and on your bed, to get on your knees, call on Jesus, man. Ask God to come into your life. Repent for your sins. And a lot of people say repent just means saying you sorry. Repent means turning from it. So when you're ready to make that change, you get on your knees and tell Jesus that you want to repent for all your sins. And you tell him you want him to come in your life. And then you keep seeking God for this Holy Spirit to come and come upon you and get inside you. And then you just start reading that word, and that, that's the daily journey. It's not an overnight thing. It's just when God saves you, day by day, you get stronger in Christ, and you get closer to what you were the day before. So that's all it is, man. Basically, just giving your life away to Christ and letting go of the world. You can't play. A lot of people say, um, straddle the fence. Ain't no fence. Either you hot or cold. You got to be hot for Christ. You can't be cold. Because Lou Wong, he would spit you out his own mouth. He said that in the word. So you can't be Lou Wong. It got to be one or the other. Just throw your white flag up and surrender. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Yeah. Like he said, to be saved, you ain't got to go to church to do all that. Like, you can do it at home, on your knees. Just meditate with God. Confess your sins. Believe that Jesus is the Son. Believe in God. Believe that Jesus rose on the third day. And you saved. Continue with it. Stay free from sin. You saved. And get the Holy Spirit. There you go. That's what's up. And then what happens after that? The Holy Spirit come in. And then now you have the remix. Let me tell you that. And then people going to want to hate. And that, that brings me <laughs> Because now you're living so clean on that John 316. I'm not a rapper, so don't make... You know what I mean? I talk in punchlines, but man, I'll butcher up a... You want to mess up your collab? Get me on there. <laughs> I'll make a beat, but I'll so, so mess one up if you put my, my lyrics on. <laughs> so I stay out of that. I stay in my own lane, man. I stay what God called me to be, man. Just... You know, talking to people, man, evangelizing, you know, emceeing. You want to call me out there for, man, if, if it's something local and it's about the kingdom, I'll host it for free. That's just, that's that's me, though. That's, you know, that's DJ COV. I do that. You know, if it's somewhere in the travel time is under 60 minutes, because, you know, that's how the show go. If I can travel less than 60 minutes and I can be at your event and you glorifying Jesus, or even if it's right in the trap or the hood, I'll be there. You call me out there for free. You know what I mean? If it's somewhere a little further and you say, I want to get this man out there, you pay for my travel expenses and any time lost or any money I've lost from, you know, coming out there just, just so I can support my family, I'm there, man. I don't ask for 2000 or 4000 up front. I don't live on that, man. <laughs> I'm not there yet. But all I'm saying is, man, I, you know, I, I definitely would love to come out to any, any events you have, host the parties. Because we, we and I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now how to get Jesus, man. We, we gonna, you heard it from the Jackson boys. So if you on your bed, no matter where you at, you can get him right now. Definitely go to church. He, you know, me and Tess had gotten into a discussion with somebody online, and something that he said was so profound because we we're talking about once saved, always saved. And for you of those that never heard of this, don't worry about that. But for you people that know what I'm talking about, it's that concept where you be saved and you don't gotta keep the relationship going. He said you gotta do, you gotta keep the relationship going. That's why we go to church. Keep that relationship going, man. Encouraging other people, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go on the field and play football by yourself. You need a team to back you up. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, the more people, that's why people roll with gangs and stuff because they feel they're more powerful in a, in a gang than, than by themselves. Um, you know, and and, 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 that, and that's a biblical concept. You know, Satan just perverted it. You know, and that, that you got street gangs. Really, I mean, the real, the first gang is the blood gang. That's the gang we rep. We rep Jesus, the blood, and we coming together because of his blood that was shed for us on Calvary. And that's why the worst thing we do, we break bread and we drink the wine, which represents his blood. We the blood gang. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we are, we, you know, we, we the original, you know what I'm saying? Satan's quit swagger jacking. You know what I'm saying? The church, we the originators of this. You know what I'm saying? He said on this church, you know, on this rock, I build my church. You know what I'm saying? The gates of hell or Hades, depending on what Bible you have, will not prevail against it. You know what I mean? That's what Jesus told Peter. So, anyway, let's pray. Let's accept Jesus right now. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I repent, meaning turn from my sin, as, as mine stated. You know, I turn away from my sin. I don't just say I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I also turn from it. I turn and I follow you because I know you're on a different path. And I thank you that the Father rose you from the dead. I believe and I confess with my mouth that today I'm saved. I'm changed. I'm not the same person I was. I look the same on the outside, but on the inside, I've got a new heart. 
Put in me a heart of flesh. Let me do the work of the kingdom. And in Jesus' name, I confess you. Amen. You saved. You got a remix. So, you know, we got to play this people want to hate. Because people are going to hate. They're going to say, I don't know something clean about that man right there. I want that clean, man. If you don't like the way you were born, get born again, dog. That's what I'm going to tell you. Just like that, man. If you didn't like where you was born at, get born again. New birth, man. That spiritual thing. So we're going to come back after that. After that, people want to hate. They're going to tell you how to link up and, you know, how to get at them some little more. And, and we out of here, man. You already know. 60 Minutes of Swag, Episode 5, exclusive with your man, DJ COV and DJ B, them Jackson boys. Why they always hating, bro? I don't know, man. I don't know why they always hating. That's sick, man. I, I really don't know. I guess because we ripping Christ to the fullest and, you know, we don't stand up. Did you know this? So, I mean, it is what it is. Folks gonna even hate more because this is real. Let's go. Let's go. To the top, elevation, repping Christ to the fullest. I don't care what they say in the talk, it's so cheap. Why you think I'm not paying attention? Why you think I'm not flinching? Jesus, my shepherd. The king is making big moves, kinda like checkers. But I ain't talking fast food, he permanent like tattoos. If you go against him, I guarantee you gon' lose. You can hate, but just stay out my way. Cause I'm trying to spread this gospel, I refuse to take a break. Never ever hit the brakes, foot on the gas pedal, ready to rock and roll. Like heavy metal, so that's why them people wanna hate just because that's the real. Just because I'm on top, I'm a king. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just because I'm on top, I'm a king. Doing me and I ain't gon' stop. They like to the hate, so go ahead and keep on hating. It's okay, so go ahead and keep on hating. It's okay, so go ahead and keep on hating. It's okay, so go ahead and keep on hating. It's okay, cause it's good for my motivation. It's kind of funny how when I do right, it's wrong. Yep. Cause people get offended when they listen to our songs. Hey. But thankfully, it doesn't faze me cause I'm strong. I can take the hateration from you haters all night long. Yep. I just don't understand why people want to hate. Why? If we stand together, think of the differences we can make. make. But at the end of the day, I can only pray that God allows me to see the reals from the fakes. From the fake. You can hate me, but I'm still speaking truth. Yep. I'm just trying to please the Lord. Ain't focused on you. Nope. We are just by the choices in the past that we choose So with God on my side, I win, you lose Frustrating because you ain't me, ooh. But as I think about it, I would hate if I wasn't me too. Can I lack in Lexus? Escalades and ISs. Jesus pieces, necklaces. Diamond ring, the braces. Stakes at Adam's probably, but I preach in my dreams and teens. Holy Spirit covering me, keeping me seeing free. Yeah, I serve the king of kings, morning star, bling, bling. One day he would reign supreme, at least that's what he told me. So he got a relationship, visit me and take me on trip. If I'm dreaming, don't wake me. I see why you hate me. People wanna hate me. Just because I just feel the most you thought they have you back You would think that they would get it in the head No, just because I'm on top I'ma keep doing me and I ain't gon' stop They like to hate So go ahead and keep on hating, it's okay So go ahead and keep on hating, it's okay So go ahead and keep on hating, it's okay Cause it's good for my motivation People wanna hate just because I'm just feeling the most you thought they have you back You would think that they would get it in the head No, just because I'm on top I'ma keep doing me M-A-A-L-D-A to the G A certified representer of the G-O-D I'm basking in my blessing Prime reason why they envy Plenty see my success But don't know the journey How I came out of the streets Gave my life to the most high You selling drugs
drugs to pay your bills ain't gon' help you get by And all that hatin' that you doin' only help me strive by People doubt of Jesus, I know they doubtin' me There's some haters right now listening to this beat But no love lost, just more motivation To take it to a higher level, elevation People wanna hate just because I just feel the most you thought they have your back You would think that they would they wanna hate no Just because I'm on top, I'm on top. Cause they hate it on my dad Cause the world likes darkness They can't stand the light That's why they kill Jesus Man, they can't stand the Christ Some people say they love you And say they gon' support with you Down there thinking evil Trying to find a bad report No, They smiling in your face But really wanna take a place Backstabbers When you fall, they laugh at you Two-faced like Batman's enemy No warm love Hearts cold like Mr. Freeze Man, favorite energy Keep the hostility But I'm still gon' love you with the best of my ability yeah, go. People wanna hate just because I just feel the most you thought they have it back You would think that they would they they wanna hate it Just because I'm on top, I'm on top. On your boy, night quiz. Yeah. I'm from the land of the trees. Where boys tipping 84 they dripping wood wheel. I'm with them Jackson boys, yeah, we making noise. All I do is praise, you can hear it in my bar. Haters on bar, I'm focused on the law. All up in my Bible, read Matthew looking more. King Christ moving, Christian young money. But we ain't about the money. This is the remix. So crazy, man. I love that joint, man. Love that joint. So we going, we about to sign off, but I want the Jackson boys to, you know, talk to you guys a little bit. Let them know how, you know, what's coming up, how they can just kind of keep, you know, follow, you know, how you can keep following them and seeing what they're doing. Cause you got to follow positive people, follow them as they follow Christ. So they going to have this, you know, they're going to let you know how to connect. All right, well, if you want to book book us or whatever for your um events and churches, you can email me at monjackson89 at gmail.com. That's monjackson89 at gmail.com. Or just search Don Jackson Boys on Facebook or Mon Jackson on Facebook or TEV Jackson on Facebook. It's simple as that. Just hit us up on Facebook and we'll get back at you. And also, you know, if I'm your friend on Facebook, which I hope I am, um, you know, they're on my Facebook as well. Um, you know, you know, connect with the artists that I, you know, that I put on here, man. Because these aren't just the artists, the ministers of the gospel. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, that's really what we are. I mean, from from any of the people that that we support, like Dream or Punchline, they all got, you know, the Jackson boys. They all got their own story. They all got their own testimony. But you know what? They all we're all connecting for the same purpose, and that, and that's to see the gospel spread. So, you know, I'm so glad that you're able to tune in. Um, you know, we love you. And you know what I'm saying? Just just keep that favor rolling. I